The summer in Japan this year is going to be really, really hot. Right now it's rainy season and I've been waiting more than a week for it to rain so that I can film some rain for a video, but I haven't been able to. I can't say this definitively because I'm not a meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure if there isn't a lot of rain in rainy season, that's an indication that it might be very hot in the summer. I just want to explain the background that we have here. This is Sumiyoshi Taisha. This is probably the most important and biggest shrine in Osaka. And it's the head shrine for the Sumiyoshi shrines of which there are more than 2000 in Japan. This place is very, very popular, especially with local people for Hatsumode, which is basically people coming to pray for good luck in the new year. There are over 2 million visitors to this shrine over the course of about a week. I got some nice footage inside around the shrine and I'll put some of this footage throughout the video so you can look at it whilst I'm talking to you. If you've been in Japan for any length of time, you've probably heard a Japanese person very proudly say that Japan has four seasons. What they don't tell you about is rainy season, suyu, or plum rain, which happens in between summer and spring. It's kind of like the end of spring or the beginning of summer, however you want to look at it. In a typical June, Osaka will have about 20 centimeters of rain. Just to put that into context, my hometown in England, the rainiest month only has about six or seven centimeters of rain. So the rainiest month in Osaka is about three times rainier than the rainiest month in my hometown. Which is kind of funny because whenever I tell people in Japan that I'm from England, they always ask me if it's true that it rains all the time in England because in movies for some reason whenever they show London it's always cloudy or rainy and it is cloudy all the time and it does rain very frequently but the amount of rain in England is very small it rains a lot more in Japan so you have the rainy season which goes from about the start of June until about mid July and after rainy season finishes that's when you get into deep summer or midsummer, however you want to term it. That's usually also announced by the arrival of cicadas, which are very, very noisy and they're the soundtrack of summer, I guess. And when summer really hits, it gets really, really hot. Typically in Osaka, anywhere from about 35 degrees up to about 38 degrees during the day, and then at night, down to about 27 and to add to that you have a really high percentage of humidity and the humidity becomes more intense at night so even though it's dropping down to about 27 it feels almost the same because you have that cloying heat and you're covered in sweat trying to sleep it's very very difficult but the last couple of years have been really hot like, I remember the first few years that I was in Japan I would get bitten all the time by mosquitoes because I guess I'm not really used to dealing with mosquitoes because I'm from England so coming to Japan I displayed a bit of stupidity toward them and ended up getting bitten a lot but two years ago in 2018 it was too hot for mosquitoes so <laughs> It was so hot that the mosquitoes all died. So I didn't get bitten a single time in 2018 because it was so hot. And it was kind of the same last year as well in 2019, which um, I guess seems like a relief in the short term, but it's not a very promising sign if it's too hot for the insects to live. If you're a person, of course, you can stay inside, you have air conditioning and you can wear short sleeve business shirts. Apparently this is quite a new thing in Japan to have short sleeves and to not wear a tie or a jacket. I would have really hated to have been here 20 or 30 years ago when people would have been expected to wear a full suit and tie for the middle of summer. That's ridiculous. For me, as an English person, summer is the most difficult month. Summer in the UK is very, very pleasant 
typically about 23 degrees Celsius, no rain, more or less, very, very pleasant. But in Japan, as I just said, very, very hot, very, very humid. Winter in Osaka is very similar to the winters in southern England. There's not really a big difference in temperature. Of course, if you go out into the mountains or if you go up to Hokkaido, then you have a lot of snow and you have freezing temperatures. But if you're in a big coastal city, and that's most of the big cities in Japan, like Osaka, Nagoya, Tokyo, then the winters aren't actually that cold and there's very little, if any, snowfall. There's certainly been no snowfall in Osaka that's actually settled properly in the time that I've been here. Japan has four seasons, the UK has four seasons, but the difference between winter and summer in Japan is a lot greater than the difference between winter and summer in the UK. Also, one big difference between England and Japan is the strength of the sun. That's why I'm wearing this underneath my shirt. The sun's probably too strong for me without the Factor 50 on. In my head before I came to Japan, for some reason I thought the UK and Japan were at kind of the same latitude. I guess I assumed it because of the way when you look at a world map, one from the UK where the UK is centered in the middle and you have Japan off to one side is that you see Japan like the UK and Europe like China. Osaka where I live is actually about the same latitude as North Africa. The sun is very very different to what I'm used to and as you can probably tell by looking at me the sun isn't my friend. Also, I wonder what's going to happen about masks in the summer. I'm not wearing a mask right now as I record this video because I'm outside and no one around me, but I'm definitely wearing this all the time when I'm interacting with people, when I'm inside. But I really wonder if people are going to keep on wearing them in the middle of summer because, you know, they're very warm, aren't they? Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Also, if you could give me a like, I'd really appreciate that. If you can, subscribe to the channel. If there's anything that you would like to see me talk about or like to see me cover on this channel, please let me know through the comment section. Thank you very much again and see you in the next video.